Voices, a Twin Sisters e-book. Hello, do you like horses? Would you like to learn all about them? Wonderful! Then open your books to the first page, and together we'll all become know-it-alls about these beautiful animals. Oh, and don't forget, when you hear the word, Giddy up! Turn the page. They have thundered wild across the American Southwest. They've been the loyal companions of cavalry, cowboys, and kings alike. They've worked on farms and have even been used to help deliver fresh milk door to door. The horse belongs to the species Equus caballus. It is a hardy, four-legged mammal. Each leg has one toe that is protected by a hard covering called a hoof, which is a lot like a really thick toenail. First domesticated or tamed by people almost 6,000 years ago, these strong animals have been bred to help us everywhere, from the farm to the battlefield. Since then, horses have also been raised for sport and show. American Quarter Horse Zebra Poitou Donkey Mule Horses, zebras, and donkeys are all related. They belong to the same animal family that scientists call Equidae. A mule is a crossbreed of a horse and a donkey. Giddy up! How many types of horses are there? While there are many different kinds or breeds of horses, they can be divided into three main groups, heavy horses, light horses, and ponies. Large muscular horses are called heavy breeds. They are usually the biggest and tallest horses. Originally bred in Northern Europe during the Middle Ages, they were used for carrying heavy loads and for pulling plows to till fields. The heavy horses were also used for battle. Sometimes they wore armor just like the medieval knights who rode them. Light horses are skinnier looking than the heavy breeds. They are bred for speed, agility, and stamina. Though most light horses are used for work such as pulling carriages and ranching, some are used in races and show competitions. Ponies are often thought to be baby horses, but they are actually breeds of horses that are much shorter, even when fully grown. Giddy up! A horse's eyes sit high on its long head. They are positioned to give the horse a wide field of vision, which is perfect for seeing other animals sneaking up from the sides or behind to hunt it for food. But the eyes also face forward, so the horse can see whatever might be in front of it. The ears of a horse, also high on its head, can be controlled independently to allow the horse to figure out where sounds are coming from. Horses use their tails to swat away pesky insects. <laughs> like many other animals, horses use their sense of smell to help them find food and water. 
and to recognize family, friends, and enemies. Giddy up! How big are horses? A horse is measured in hands from the ground to the top of its shoulders called the withers. A hand is about 4 inches or 10.2 centimeters long, which is about the width of an adult's hand. Horse measurement chart. One hand equals 4 inches or 10.16 centimeters. 14.2 hands or 14 hands plus 2 inches equals 58 inches or 147.3 centimeters. 16 hands equals 64 inches or 162.6 centimeters. Ponies are generally less than 14.2 hands high. Shetland Pony, average height, 9.3 hands. American Saddlebred, average height, 15 to 16 hands. Most light horses are 14.2 to 16 hands high. Heavy breeds usually stand more than 16 hands high. A horse is measured in hands from the ground to the top of its shoulders called the withers. A hand is about 4 inches or 10.2 centimeters long, which is about the width of an adult's hand. Horse measurement chart. One hand equals 4 inches or 10.16 centimeters. 14.2 hands or 14 hands plus 2 inches equals 58 inches or 147.3 centimeters. 16 hands equals 64 inches or 162.6 centimeters. Ponies are generally less than 14.2 hands high. Shetland Pony, average height, 9.3 hands. American Saddlebred, average height, 15 to 16 hands. Most light horses are 14.2 to 16 hands high. Heavy breeds usually stand more than 16 hands high. Shire. Average height, 17 hands. Averaging 17 hands high, the Shire is the largest horse. One Shire, named King, holds the record for being the tallest horse at 19.2 hands. Giddy up! How do horses live? Horses are social animals. In the wild, they live with their families in larger groups called herds. Most herds are made up of male and female horses, but some are all male. A dominant male horse called a stallion usually leads the herd. The stallion acts as the protector. There are very few types of undomesticated horses left in the world. Only the Przewalski's horse of Mongolia and untamed horses called feral horses still roam wild and free. Giddy up! 
What do horses eat? Horses are herbivores, which means they do not eat meat. They mostly graze on grass. Although grass is not very nutritious for people, it has everything horses need to stay strong and healthy. A horse's mouth and front teeth are especially well formed for eating grass right from the ground. Its long jaws are lined with teeth that grind the grass to a fine pulp, making it easy to swallow and digest. Horse food. Grass, hay and grains on farms, other plants. Giddy up! How do baby horses grow? Fast. A female horse called a mare usually gives birth to one baby at a time. The newborn horse called a foal can usually stand up within an hour of being born. Its legs may be unsteady at first, but soon it will be able to keep up with its mother at nearly full speed. A horse less than four years old is called a colt. Sometimes a female horse in this age range is called a filly. Like all mammals, the baby drinks milk from its mother. To get extra nutrition, it may nurse for up to a year, although it starts eating grass within a few weeks of being born. Giddy up! Do horses really wear shoes? Believe it or not, horses need shoes. Their hooves can get worn down and damaged during the work they do. A blacksmith trims each hoof just like trimming a toenail. Then the blacksmith attaches an iron horseshoe with nails. The nails don't hurt the horse and the shoe protects the hoof and keeps it healthy. Horseshoes have been considered a sign of good luck for hundreds of years. One legend has it that St. Dunstan, the blacksmith, gave the horseshoe special power against evil. A blacksmith is someone who makes things out of metal by hand. Giddy up! How do horses communicate? Horses spend much of their time grooming each other to show affection, form friendships, and help each other clean up. But a horse may also nip at another horse to try to show that it is in charge. <laughs> Who's the boss? Two domestic palominos fight each other to decide. Giddy up! Bet you didn't know! All horses can sleep standing up. This allows them to quickly run away from predators because they don't have to get up off the ground and to their feet. But horses also rest and sleep lying down when they feel safe and comfortable. The horse is the only one-toed, one-hoofed creature on Earth. All other hoofed animals, such as cows, have two or more toes and split hooves. You may have seen pictures of Pegasus, a horse that had wings and could fly. But Pegasus was not real. No horse could ever fly. Have you ever seen a zebroid? A zebroid is a crossbreed of a horse and a zebra. 
Horses were once such an important part of life that the first trains were called iron horses and the first automobiles were called horseless carriages. Even today, the word horsepower is used to describe how much work the machine can do. Engine-powered machines have replaced the horse in a number of ways, but horses have been our companion and helper for thousands of years. So I wouldn't say happy trails to the horse anytime soon, because grass will always be cheaper than gas. <laughs>